Dan Shaughnessy has been covering uh, Boston sports forever and a day. Um, he was at the opening press conference of training camp today with Bill Belichick. And the back and forth between the two of them was, I mean, Dan's obviously been around uh, a few Boston blocks and he's been to a few Boston press conferences and he's not your just ordinary reporter strolling into a press conference. He is not in the Boston sports area. Everybody knows him. Um, and so for him to join the Q and a fray, with Bill Belichick and provide this, what? how long is this sound bite? About 90 seconds worth or something like that? It really was uh, a gift from the, uh, the Q&A football gods. And as always here on the Rich Eisen Show, it's time to deconstruct the Bill Belichick press conference from today. Um, we don't have a drop for it, do we? No, no, no. no. Okay. I'm going to make one, though, because I mean, we have one to one in the future. The There'll be one in the future. Yep. Okay, because as name. you know, there's always the issue of asking Bill yes or no questions and then moving on quickly. Dan wouldn't let it go. <laughs> and um, okay, so let's let's start. Let's start. I'll, I'll occasionally, you know, ask our, our terrific Los Angeles Broadcasting Center crew to stop and start. So let's go. Uh, let's start from the from the very, very top. Uh, when Dan Shaughnessy asked Bill Belichick about uh, Malcolm Butler, with he, he he didn't go in through the front door. He kind of ambled around the entire house before going in through the front door. <laughs> yes. This is Dan Shaughnessy. At a, at, I mean, two guys at the top of their game. Roll it. Bill, I know you're all about this year, and we all understand that this year. That's right. And um, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask about last year. Yeah, and last year is last year. I'm not focused on last year. Yeah. Okay, so um, thank you for stopping right there. Makes sense. Now, let me just deconstruct this. He, he inoculates the question that's about to come that he knows Belichick normally wouldn't answer by saying, look, I know you've moved on. Right. But I wouldn't be doing my job using the do your job phraseology. Oh, I see where you're by going By saying okay. you're about people doing their job. I'm doing my job. So you think by Dan throwing that out there, Bill is going to respect him for doing his job and or might be more inclined to answer. It's more inoculation of you can't treat this in the normal way that you're treating this because I'm not already, I'm not already, I'm not only already admitting I understand what answer you normally give by mentioning that you can't give me that answer. And on top of it, the reason why I'm asking, I'm not trolling you. I'm not, like, looking for troll answers. I'm doing my job. I like it. Smart move. And even move. though Belichick went ahead and said, you know, that's right, when he's already moved on to this year, he went ahead and asked the question. And despite Belichick saying last year is last year, I'm not focused on last year, Shaughnessy pressed on. What about the fact that everywhere we go, folks want to ask about Malcolm Butler? I mean, sports coaches, players, university, you're a sports fan. Yeah, we've Is talked it? about that. That's multiple months ago. All right, stop it. You're a sports fan, including him. You're a sports fan. You understand the way sports fans work. I'm doing my job, and I'm also humanizing Bill Belichick in the process. This is just... Honestly, four-dimensional chess here <laughs> from Shaughnessy. Normal, I mean, he's just coming at, like, I understand the answer you're going to give. I'm doing my job. You're a person. You're a human being. You understand why these questions are being asked. You're a sports fan, but Belichick is just sticking to his, he's not letting go of this bone here that he's moved on to fill in the blank. That's multiple months ago. But Dan Shaughnessy firing off, a second follow-up question. This is almost unprecedented rolling. Is there going to be any more explanation about why he didn't play? Focused on training camp. Did you do it any differently? Training camp? Well, we're, no. we're getting started. We're working on that right now. We'll do the best we can. All right, hold it right there. Now we're getting <laughs> loose here. Now, now we're getting loose here because it's Dan's first slip-up. It's Dan's first slip-up. Would you do it any differently that's the problem. When you ask Bill Belichick a, an, a question that's an open phrase, if you're not specific, even though Belichick knows his answer is absurd, 
He's letting you know you're not asking direct questions here, and I've allowed you two follow-ups, and you already understand I'm not going to answer it. So Dan's now on his heels for the first time here. With all due respect, he's it, it's a little, it's getting a little loose. So he's got to bring it back down. He's still got to get his answer. And he asks a rare, good yes or no question of Bill Belichick Rowland. And does it matter to you? Do you care that the fans want to know more about this? All right, hold it right there. The fans. Going now to representing the nation. Patriots Nation. I'm now here representing fans, regular people who want to know. Do you care about the fans? What a what an absolute Federer like cross court shot to come back when you think the point is over. And he gets the answer from Belichick that's more than just the where we've moved on. I'm focused on doing the best that I can for the 2018 New England Patriots. That's my job. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I've always done in the past. You know, every day that I've coached here, I've done the best that I could for this football team, and I'll continue to do that. And right now my focus is on the 2018 season, not 2017, not 2014, not 2007, not 2004, not 2001, not 2000. I'm not focused on any of those seasons. They're done. All right, hold it right there. Okay, that's the sound bite now. Got him off. He got him off. The We've moved on. I'm focused on training camp. I'm giving you one word, two word, three word, one sentence answers. He got him off that. Normally, that's it. That'll wrap it up. But there's still one lingering question. The ultimate question here. This is truly the ultimate question that needs to be asked. Is there any lingering effect to Malcolm Butner not playing? You've moved on to this year. But even though you've moved on to this year, could there possibly be people in your locker room that have not moved on in the same way that the Legion of Boom and a lot of the Seahawks could not move on from their Malcolm Butler moment, from their Super Bowl loss? And Shaughnessy asked that question. And for this season, for this season's team, is it important for you to address the Malcolm Butler thing with your team? It's important for me to have a good season in 2018. I'm going to do everything I can to do that, do the best that I can for our football team. That's my job, and that's my responsibility. That's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully you can respect that, but maybe not. There you go. And and that was a grand total of four follow-up questions to Bill Belichick. Four. When he was in a shutdown press conference mode in – in Super Bowl form, coming out of the training camp gate. And I will say this to our friends at Canton, who we are seeing next week, Joe Horgan, get a copy of that. That is worthy of enshrinement, that Q&A of Belichick and Dan Shaughnessy at the tops of their games. We didn't learn very much. Nope, didn't learn nope. a thing. We did get a couple drops out of it, right? What, what do we got? We got one drop about focused what we're on training camp. We're focused on training camp, and then what's the other one we got here? Right Hopefully, now? you can respect that, but maybe not. <laughs> I mean, great mic drop from Belichick. I mean, Hopefully, you can respect that. Maybe not, but maybe not. Hopefully, you can respect that, but maybe not. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.